watching Scratch! Seven. Right now, uh, a young girl, a young altar girl has been making the headlines recently. Uh, her name is Jenny Ryan. And this is how Jenny looks when she serves Mass in Meadowbrook Parish here in Dublin. And doesn't she look lovely? Doesn't she look great in her alb? Uh, and the reason Jenny has been making headlines recently is because a couple of weeks ago, she was not allowed to serve at confirmation. And the reason why she wasn't allowed to serve at confirmation is because she's a girl. Simple as that. Now, I have Jenny here with me in the studio. Hiya, Jenny, and you've got a few friends with you, and they're altar boys and altar girls. We have Stephen, Fiona, and Carol. Um, Jenny, how long have you been an altar girl? Two years. And how did you, how did you get into it? Well, um, someone came around from a different class and took the names of people who wanted to be an altar server. And then all the names were put into a hat and 30 were picked out. And yours was one of the 30. Yeah. So what exactly do you have to do as an altar girl? Well, the first thing is the gospel where you have to, where two people take the candles and the group and stand behind the priest while he says the gospel. And then the next one is the first collection where two other people take the two candles and go down to the back of the church. The next thing is the offertory where they lead the procession up onto the altar. And this time there's two people ready to take the gifts and put them on the altar. Right. Then when all that's finished, there's two people come up with the bowl and water and a towel. Priest washes his hands, says a little prayer, and then um, they go back down. And then um, there's a person appointed to carry up the cross up and down, and they take the cruids down off the altar. And carrying the cross is very important, is it? Yeah. And you've done that. Yeah. And then finally? And then there's the bells, and they ring them four times. And the priest puts his hands over the gifts when he holds up the communion, when he holds up the wine, and then when he, after Lamb of God, Okay. Then there's the communion, there's no jobs during that. And then after that, there's the crudes again. Um, there's crude filled with water and one filled with wine, and the crude with water is taken up and poured over the priest's fingers into the chalice. Oh, and then you, and then you... Now, listen, when were you told that you wouldn't uh, be allowed to serve a communion, a confirmation? Um, two weeks ago. And what happened? Well, I went off to the meeting that... Um, they have a meeting every Tuesday night. And I went over and then they started looking for volunteers to serve the confirmation. I, and I asked, could I serve? And the priest said, sorry, the bishop doesn't want any girls. And why do you think he said that? Um, I'm not really sure, but maybe it is a strict upbringing and um, he just didn't think it was right to have girls on the altar. But, but how do you feel about that now yourself? I feel like I've been used a bit because, like, if I'm good enough to serve all year round, I don't see why I'm not good enough to serve the confirmations. And what, have you served other masses, like big ones? Yeah, I've um, done a wedding, a christening and a funeral and I served Christmas as well. Wow, did have girls served uh, for, conf uh, for um, confirmation before in your parish? Yeah, 1988, um, they served. Do you think? Um, you might have, do you think God would have wanted you on the altar serving? Well, um, yeah, I wouldn't say he'd have mind. He'd have minded. And what about the bishop? Uh, what would you say to the bishop if he was here? I'd say like, um, what's going on here? Like, if girls are good enough to serve all year round, why aren't they good enough for confirmation? Right. Okay, Jenny, listen, thanks for, thanks for talking to us. Um, let me just tell you that we actually got on to the Catholic press office ourselves and they said that traditionally the role of an altar boy uh, was the first formal step to ordination, uh, to becoming a priest. And at the moment there's a group uh, looking into this whole area of, of lay people's involvement in the church and a decision won't be made until the Pope has seen this report that the group will make to the Pope. And the Pope has also asked in the meantime nothing be changed at all, that it be left the same as it was before the old canon law. So there you go.